quickly the different uh, sectors of economy so primary activities so it is also called as the red color so what are the prim primary activities these are directly depends on the environment INVI I have written that is means environment for example agriculture uh, actually it is from the uh, at the resource by using the at the resources you know by utilizing them if you do you know some activities then it is called as the primary activities okay the example is like a uh, hunting or uh, agriculture even mining okay or quarrying all these are uh, directly we are using the at the natural resources okay and the secondary activities for example you mined something like uh, you mined some gold gold mine or uh, coal mine so from that you know uh, you need to produce the electricity okay then how you use you use in the some other sector or from the gold you want to make some other uh, i mean uh, it is not a pure form then you need to process it okay that a process is in processing industry or manufacturing industry all these industries are come under the secondary activities that means here the raw material is being converted into the valuable product here okay we are uh, converting the raw material into valuable product that is the secondary activities and it is called as the blue color workers you just remember this sometimes they may ask but i don't think they will ask this i mean what is the blue color worker but it's a uh, you have some idea and uh, the next one is the tertiary activities it is related to the you know uh, knowledge based and the service based again this is uh, divided into the quaternary and uh, quinary quina and quinary activities but with the tertiary activities like service trade transport etc okay it is called as the white collar workers and here in this particular tertiary activities for example the specialized tertiary activities in the knowledge sector is called as the quaternary um, activities what is the knowledge sector knowledge sector for example here you hear your investment and your work is your knowledge for example at this institute adapala academy is a knowledge based you know sector okay education or for example if you take the you know uh, most of the us based you know uh, billion uh, multi billion companies are knowledge based for example if you take the facebook that is just an idea it is uh, some knowledge based on that uh, you know it become very big company or google google is a useful company facebook of initially it is uh, okay social connectivity but a lot of time waste in that facebook compare but it, it connect the people and if you try to use it in the proper way yeah it is a very useful facebook but google is a real example for the knowledge based or uh, yeah apple whatever you take okay so google google uh, is based on so many ideas okay so knowledge based that is why these days you know these buzz terms are coming like a startups a stand up or innovative india okay most of these are concentrated in the knowledge based sector okay of course the startup can be in the manufacturing sector also but government is or any other country is trying to move to the knowledge based sector and especially china is you know mainly focusing they are pumping up billions of rupees to increase their knowledge based economy because us is a knowledge based economy now okay they simply have some idea and they develop it and it spreads like a wildfire and it will become multi billion dollar company like that you know everything is going but china why it is now pumping so much of money why because you know so far china is basically the manufacturing company sorry manufacturing based economy china now they want to go into the you know the knowledge based but india in, in case of india what happened we jumped from the agrarian economy directly to the you know knowledge based or a service based you know sector economy and uh, there is a you know huge gap to bridge this like uh, the manufacturing sector we need manufacturing sector also should be developed very well why because in in case of knowledge based industry what happen it can provide only for few people for example google it is a very big company but how many people are employed by google very few very compared to any other the equal same big company okay for example if you establish a steel factory you need to employ so many people so many 
and uh, google it is like a, you know some software company so it need only few people few brains okay that is the difference that means the manufacturing industry will provide employment to the more people okay but whereas the service industry or knowledge based industry provide uh, to the less people that is the that is why india should emphasize on the manufacturing industry so that the unemployment the present unemployment rate is very very high even though our prime minister mr uh, modi ji you know promised in the first tenure that he will reduce but it didn't happen because uh, there was not much you know uh, you know uh, uh, what is that you know development uh, in terms of uh, improving the manufacturing sector okay they are trying but uh, still it is lagging beyond uh, be, uh, the target so here the knowledge sector in the tertiary if it is a specialized knowledge sector then it is called as a quaternary see this knowledge sector is important that's why i spend some money sorry uh, that's why i spend some time here uh, and you can skip that and uh, quinary activities this is a create and rearrangement and interpretation of new and existing ideas okay for example here what are the examples mutual friend manager software development okay developers and etc and this is a little bit advanced than that new technology new ideas and uh, you know research and development the everything comes under this and this is called as the gold color jobs and uh, the, i have written one more thing like a structural change what is the definition of this this is a long term and a broad based change of the fundamental structure okay it is not at the micro level it is at the macro level what is the meaning that this word we use so often even in the newspaper they will write like there is a st the structural change in the economy is not going in the proper direction in india in case of india like that they just mention but you need to understand that this particular simple word will convey so much of meaning okay for example what is the structural change see previously our indian economy you know was still it is you know mainly depends on the agriculture it mainly depends on the agriculture but uh, with the advent of this you know economic liberalization at the 1990s what happened there are so many you know, service based industries developed random uh, uh, what happened we service based industries or the service sector is contributing more to the economy uh, something around it is a it is a you know um, contributing something around 50 to 60 percent of the economy and uh, the amount of people the those are working in the service sector are very less it is only up to 30 percent or 25 percent but the amount of people those are working in the agriculture sector is something like 50 percent okay you imagine this is a 50 percent and the contribution of this 50 percent man force in the economy is only up to you know 25 to 29 percent these are approximate numbers i don't remember exactly but whereas the man force in this is only 30 percent but it is its contribution is 60 percent to the economy in between the manufacturing sector the manufacturing sector is not contributing that much here because it is not developed okay so previously before the liberalization what happened the agriculture sector contribution to the economy is very very high it is something like a 70 to 80 percent but all of a sudden it changed under you know service sector is contributing more to the economy that means the basic structure of the the economic contribution in india is changed then we can call it as a structural change okay for example uh, see it could be anything it's not only in the economy it could be anything it is a general definition for example what happened the economy liberated in 1990 before that ours is a protected economy isolated or we can say like uh, there are so many rules and regulation if any foreign entity want to come in india and uh, establish something then there are so many regulations forget about the foreign entities even the domestic entity or the, um, the local i mean the indian people if they want to start any private business then there were so many restrictions that's that in those days it is called as the uh what is that red tapeism okay or license rods that is called as the license rods because you need to obtain so many licenses unwanted licenses so simplified they simplified everything that means uh, you know before prior to the 1990 liberation it was a uh, different uh, structure and uh, after liberation what happened 
it is a you know free market free trade okay there is a structural change from a, you know the protect protectionism to the labor liberation okay that is also called as the structural change so we use so many times like a structural change in the economy and many times they mention like the structural change in the indian economy is as per it is not as per the you know uh, standard one in the standard one what happens initially in any economy when the country is underdeveloped what happens the agriculture will provide or contribute more to the economy it is a more to the economy and as it you know progresses then what happened the industrialization happens industrialization means you know uh, like uh, construction manufacturing industries and all these factories will come so the people who have are excess in the agriculture they will move to this uh, manufacturing or uh, industrialization okay then its contribution increases then what happened uh, as the income increases then more and more people will pursue higher studies like engineering and everything and uh, they will go for a uh, much more better jobs then you know service sector increases our knowledge based economy increases this is the process first agriculture after that this manufacturing will replace slowly agriculture and after that the service sector will replace uh, you know slowly manufacturing in the process what happening the agriculture is providing employment to the so many people initially okay and after that the manufacturing is absorbing all that uh, you know um, uh, 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 in other words no the people whoever there here in the agriculture will be repa repatriated to the manufacturing sector when it is uh, growing why because it is it is only having that much capacity to absorb all the excess people are uh, whoever available there okay especially in the countries like india and uh, after manufacturing the service sector why because the compared to the manufacturing the service sector uh, capability to absorb those people is less why because in manufacturing sector the we need more people and the uh, salary is also less compared to the service sector but service sector it is a knowledge base so you salaries are high and they don't want to take more people understood so they are, that is how it should happen but in india somehow this manufacturing sector skipped i'm not saying totally skipped but it is very weak compared to this service sector so that is why there is a huge unemployment rate but whereas in china what happened after agriculture they went to the manufacturing phase okay now they are heavily investing in the knowledge based economy or a service industry okay so that that is the third stage okay after that we can say that it is developed and already if you take the european countries most of the countries are service based countries for example if you take the united states okay everything is a service based or if you take the uk or some other countries they are all service based okay already they cross this agriculture and manufacturing stage and they are in the service based otherwise knowledge based economy okay that is how it is called as a structural change in the economy as the country progresses okay